Playtime Co. is the product of a great man by the name of Elliot Ludwig. Divorced, but a family man at heart. His sights were always set on bringing amazing toys to amazing children around the globe. Ludwig spent countless hours in the factory, working overtime relentlessly in an attempt to continuously innovate and surprise. In the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. But with so much ambition, he rose back up and continued to fulfill his vision for the Playtime Co. toy factory. Ludwig could never be content leaving a project unfinished. But just how did one man come to create such an astounding empire? How did he manage to stay determined even after suffering such a tragic loss? It all began in the fateful year of 19... as Playtime Co.'s chief marketing officer has skyrocketed the company's profits. How do you do it? 
You know, it's not what you'd expect. It's the little things most people don't even think about. Like, take names, for example. I'm surprised people haven't realized this. You take the E sound, slap it on the end of a name, boom, you're making bank. Huggy, mommy. Even Elliot knew this way back with Poppy. I guess I kind oh, of... Blue is huge. I'm telling you. What's your favorite color? Blue? I bet it's blue, right? It's blue? It's green. <laughs> okay, well, you're a special case. Most people would say blue. But seriously, marketing is not as easy as you think. I make it look easy. If there's anything Playtime Co. should be known for, it's not toys. It's marketing. Following is a pre recorded announcement to address the many complaints regarding an alleged very, very big spider crawling around in the facility. The Playtime Corporation wants me to remind you all that spiders that big do not exist, and that if they did, quote, we would already be dead anyways, end quote. Regardless, you can all rest assured the company is sending some specialists down here to have a look around and relieve the constant whining. Complaining seems to be everyone's primary contribution to this company. It's just a spider. You are all safe. Please, please carry on with your jobs. Log code 08502. In relation. Experiment 1006, the prototype. A close call occurred this week in which he nearly breached containment. The prototype seemingly disassembled the digital alarm clock within his room and utilized the battery, along with several other components, to create a laser pointer, which he then fired into the security camera, disabling it. These actions allowed him 28.3 seconds completely unmonitored. Once function returned to the camera, the room appeared to be empty. One surveillance specialist went in to confirm his absence. However, upon opening the door, she realized that the prototype had hidden in one of the camera's blind spots. The prototype attempted to escape through the open door. However, another surveillance specialist was able to remotely relock the door, despite the other specialist still being inside. One casualty occurred. The prototype seems to possess an unprecedented level of intelligence beyond that of all other test subjects, as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. Further suppression treatments will need to be enacted to ensure that no other experiments develop these qualities. Experiment 1170, Huggy Wuggy, remains the optimal outcome due to his sufficient intelligence paired with maximum obedience. End of log. <laughs>